Greetings, my name is Pierre and welcome back to the Slice. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get infinite ammo in Resident Evil Village Mercenaries. That's right, you can have, you can literally have infinite ammo in the Mercenaries on the hard stages. This is the Village 2. I chose the Village 2 because it's the first map and I don't have any other reason for that. But anyway, so I'm going to be purchasing the Dragoon and that's all I'm going to need, to be honest. With the remaining of the money, I will be upgrading my fire rate on my handgun and my power as well. So, this is how you do it. I'm only doing this with Chris because this is the only way you can do it. You can only do it with Chris. Also, this is going to be low-key a uh, Village 2 guide. So if you don't know how to get triple S rank on the Village 2, this is how you do it. Anyway, we need a perk. And this perk is called Finishing Reload. Finishing Reload refills your ammo clip upon defeating an enemy with a punch. So look at my ammo clip at the bottom right. See how it just refilled? It literally generates, it literally generates new bullets. It literally, it doesn't take from your reload. It just gives you full ammo. So this works amazing with the Dragoon because the Dragoon has 100 bullets and you really don't have to reload it until you really, really, really need to. So this is this makes the hard levels a lot easier and a lot faster. So you can just unload your Dragoon and then shoot an enemy down to 1 HP and then punch him to death. So the best strategy to do this is to pretty much just restart every level until you get finishing reload in uh, your first three rolls. If you don't get it, I suggest you actually just restart. Anyway, it works with any weapon. So any weapon that fires uh, bullets. So it does not work with the target locator, unfortunately. I tried it and you're gonna see me do it in this gameplay. But uh, yeah, so this is literally how you speed run the mercenaries. So for any uh, community members out there that like speed running and if you want to speed run the mercenaries uh, this is probably the best way to do it um, I don't know what the rules are in speed running um, but um, uh, yeah if if people are okay with restarting uh, uh, you know if, if the people keeping track of score are okay with restarting a run until you get the finishing reload then yeah this is the way to to do runs but yeah i'm not really putting any effort into this i'm literally just using the dragoon which is the maxed out version in uh, the hard levels you get the dragoon for twenty-five thousand, and it has all of the upgrades already so it's pretty cool anyway we're gonna finish up here and as always i'm going to be punching the final enemy to refill my ammo capacity and uh yeah that's pretty much it that's the fastest way to do the village 2 um, with uh, Chris Redfield and with any character really. I haven't really done a video this quick, this fast before. So uh, so this is me trying out the target locator. Okay, don't do this. If you're using this as a guide, don't buy the target locator. Instead, just fully upgrade your straight punch. That way you can refill your ammo capacity um, very easily. And uh, while you're at it, might as well just, just sell the pistol to be honest you don't need you don't need the pistol anymore if you do have if you do have the finishing reload you don't need the pistol anymore but yeah so i'm going to be using the target locator here to show you that it does not work with finishing reload so it really is not a good idea uh, so as you can see i'm going to be holding the target locator here and i'm going to be punching and yeah it does not it does not refill it unfortunately so yeah, moving on here. I guess this is going to be a guide. But yeah, uh, overall, I think Chris Redfield um, is one of the best characters, of course, to do the triple S ranks with. Actually, he is the best one if you're just trying to do it uh, really fast and you couldn't do it previously because Ethan is not your uh, cup of tea. Um, I actually really, really like playing as Ethan. Maybe I'm biased because um, I like the Magnum and I've played as Ethan for the longest time. So... Uh, but I do enjoy all of these characters. I actually don't think there is a best character. I think they're all really good. Um, it's just a matter of learning how to use them, I think, and adapting to their playstyles. But uh, if you're an amateur player and you just care about your legendary cowboy achievement and the platinum trophy or whatever, I would say, uh, yes, get Chris and uh, just do this strategy. Use the Dragoon, finishing reload. So, in case you're wondering how to get Finishing Reload, you actually have to unlock it. So, the way you unlock Finishing Reload is by defeating an... by... Uh, by, uh, by, 
finishing four stages as Chris Redfield with an S rank or above. So you have to do this in order to unlock finishing reload in your um, in your rotation of your blue orbs. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be finishing up here. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me remind you guys to please leave a like on these videos if you guys do enjoy them. Uh, you can still enjoy these videos even after getting your triple S rank on all of the on all of the uh, on all the levels. I mean, I'm still playing and I already have the platinum, uh, so <laughs> I already got the triple S rank on everything like six times in a row. So uh, I think this is honestly the best update slash DLC that could have happened to Resident Evil Village. Um, I think it should have happened way earlier though, and it could have probably saved 90% of the people that have now left and are never going to be returning to this game ever again. But for us who are still playing this game, and for you who are probably new, uh, I do have guides on every single level with every single character on every single difficulty, so check out my channel, uh, check out my playlists, I have all of the, all of the levels and all of the characters. Anyway. If you're not doing this with finishing reload, I would say just max out your pistol because the pistol actually shreds. I mean, Chris Redfield is an all-around great character. So I, rec uh, I actually recommend getting the Energize Guns uh, thing, a perk, and uh, just finishing these levels with the pistol maxed out because the pistol maxed out just one-shots everything. But... Um, yeah, so I'm planning on playing other Resident Evil games as well. Uh, I thought about doing a Code Veronica run through. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. I really doubt people would watch that at this point in time. Uh, we're currently waiting for Resident Evil 4 Remake, which comes out in about five months. Uh, actually comes out on my birth, birth month, which is March. So hooray. Um, so I'm very, very excited. So hopefully you guys are going to still be tuned by then. Uh, definitely gonna be playing the heck out of mercenaries if that does comes out. So here's a display of why finishing reload is not the perfect uh, thing. Um, it's because you you have to be close to enemies in order to punch them, and uh, that usually means you're going to get grabbed. Uh, if you're a skilled player, even if you're a skilled player, you will be grabbed with this strategy uh, most likely. Anyway, I'm actually killing these guys from here because I realize there's no reason why I shouldn't. And then I'm going to be turning around and going to continue onwards. So my, my, my actual advice, if you're doing a finishing reload run, aside from restarting until you get finishing reload on the first blue orb, um, is that um, always, 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 always use your punch, like reload your gun, quote unquote, with finishing reload uh, on the smaller enemies. Uh, so like the, the little ones that are like that, that are the one that I just killed there on the gameplay. Always, always uh, try to reload your weapon uh, by shooting them down to like 10 HP and then finishing them off. Don't try doing it with the soldats or the lichens uh, like you see here because it will take you too long, honestly. Unless you just shoot them perfectly in the in the in the chest, and then you can finish them off with a punch. Anyway, you're about to see the dragoon here versus the uh, werewolf, but you know it's not a big deal. Uh, the only downside to the Dragoon is that it doesn't have any power-ups, like there is no there is no Assault Rifle damage, but uh, I don't think it needs it. It deals 1000 damage per shot, so anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, cool content like this, and I'll see you in the, in the comment section. Bye-bye.